hinted of a plan by the government to regulate medical charges, blaming private hospitals for exploiting poor Kenyans. The CS says the government will be paying a standard cost for similar medical services in the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF. He also warned hospitals against refusing to release a body due to hefty bills calling for affected hospitals to have a discussion with the bereaved families for an agreement on the payments. Uh, the NHIF card pays for everything and everybody. Not just uh, other diseases, but also even COVID-19. And the way to get it done is to make sure that as many people as possible have enrolled for NHIF. Once you have got that massive people, it is then possible to change the, what NHIF is offering to the public. When the president visited um, Kigumo constituents in November 2017, I requested him for this facility, being one of the critical things that I thought our people needed, and he granted it. But, um, uh, you know, the approval processes, the conceptualizing of the hospital, I kept on coming here with the Ministry of uh, Public Works, I came here with the Ministry of Health, getting all these paperwork done and approvals and budgetary allocation has taken rather long. And we are a bit concerned with the cost of care, the COVID. We are also confirmed as a committee because about the many bodies and patients that are being retained in hospitals. To now that we have started with my committee to make sure that when a patient comes upon the boot on the cusa, it is not right for a body to be detained in a hospital come on the cusa because that body has no value. We have to have one man or two who is willing to leave the hospital. The theaters we are given by mess. If you look at the renal dialysis, the CSSD equipment, the radiology equipment, and if anybody cared to do a cost of the revenues that the counties have made, one of the CS maybe and just maybe that would answer a question the Senate always asks. Still on the same, a family in...